So no right turn except for trucks and local buses. That's interesting. So I'm at Sanford Avenue and Casino Boulevard and there's a sign that says that there's no right turn from this direction coming which is to our left and just checking out the traffic over here I'll tell you that uh, this block has always been uh, busy like this uh, I think uh, some uh, for some people they're still not used to the new traffic patterns uh, so they might contribute to uh, more traffic but uh, overall, the part of the effect of uh, the busway is that for some people, they may be discouraged to drive in and instead take the bus or just walk over here. So we'll see. Uh, I mean, the traffic has mostly been cleared up uh, for Kisina Boulevard and, uh, and Main Street, but I'm here today to find out what happens to the side streets in particular Sanford Avenue right here which is uh, where the, um, the bus regulation begins so you see a whole block is filled up uh, with cars and now we're at the intersection well I think it's best to make a left turn and get out of here All these trying to go straight. Okay, that's the only way to go. Street fenders on Main Street as usual. Nowadays they don't just sell uh, PPE and stuff. Uh, many of them are also selling crabs. Wow, I don't know where to get that. Uh, check out the, all the red lights up ahead. Now everyone is uh, taking turn trying to get out of here. It's a sight to behold, man. So everyone who's uh, coming into Flushing and uh, make a left turn of Sanford is uh, going to be at the mercy of the traffic light up ahead. Oh, so they're moving. It's turning red again. It's actually not as bad as I thought. <laughs> I would imagine this is going to be terrible through and through. And then... Uh, there's a Q58 bus coming through. Oh. oh, so here's another traffic light at Frame Place. There used to be uh, no traffic light here, just uh, controlled by a, by a stop sign. But now there's a traffic light. Well, what I just saw is, uh, so what happened to the traffic? Oh, the, the traffic is all gone by the time we reach uh, College Point Boulevard, which is up ahead. So one of the reasons uh, people oppose to this busway is that uh, once the cars are not allowed to travel on Main Street, um, they would flood the uh, outer roadways and uh, create traffic jam in other areas. But I don't see that because uh, as, as we just saw earlier, the Sanford Avenue, everybody has to make the left turn or go straight towards this direction and there's no, there's no traffic up ahead. There's no traffic at all. So that pretty much disproves the theory that uh, the outer roadways will be flooded because I don't see that at least not in uh, in the College Point Boulevard right here which is interesting because uh, uh, I would believe that uh, there, there's uh, once you ban people on Main Street they will flood the 
other side streets too, just like this. But we're here, Punch Point Boulevard, and nothing happens. Look, there's no there's no traffic jam, even though uh, there's some uh, certain level of chaos at the intersection over there in the back. But uh, there's ultimately no traffic jam uh, in one of the side streets, which is right here at Punch Point Boulevard. That's very interesting. It's cool. So, well, just a quick report on the busway uh, today. And uh, if you're interested in uh, more of these content, just uh, subscribe, uh, drop a like, and uh, let me know how you feel. Uh, thank you for watching, and you have a good day. Alright, also new regulation here is that there's no left turn at the 41st row. This is good, because uh, what happened a lot here at the between Main Street and 44th Road is that uh, people make a left turn in a hurry and then uh, hit somebody. So, uh, yeah.